In this video, we are going to explore the use of stream tools to create bankful channel break lines. We are also going to bring everything we have put together in the previous videos to create a conceptual three-dimensional stream design. Starting where we left off previous videos, we need to create profiles for our design centerline. Go to Profiles in the menu bar at the top of the screen. Click Create Profile from Surface. Now select the channel centerline alignment from the alignment dropdown. In the Select Surfaces box, shift-click both surfaces. These are both the bench surface and existing ground surfaces. Click Add, then adjust the surface styles in the Profile list box. Once complete, click Draw in Profile View. Click an area and model space that you want to insert the profile view. To make it easier to see, I'm going to change the display settings for the profile view. With the profile view selected, press Ctrl-1 to open the properties. The display style can be adjusted in the properties window. We are going to set the bankful profile below the bench surface to get a cross slope towards the channel. Type PL into the command line to start a polyline. Click on the end of the bench profile. Once clicked, type at 0, 3. This will set the profile 3 tenths of a foot below the bench slope. Because our profile view is showing a 10 to 1 vertical exaggeration, our distance needs to be 10 times that of our measurement. We'll use the polyline to set the elevation below the bankful bench. Copy the polyline and paste it at the bottom of the bench profile. From the menu bar, click Profile, then click Create Profile by Layout. Select the Profile view. In the Create Profile dialog box, give the profile a name. This is the Bankful profile. Select the profile style from the Profile Style dropdown and select the profile label set. Click OK. This will bring up the profile layout tools. Click the icon on the far left of the toolbar. Starting at the beginning of the profile, click the polyline that you drew earlier. Pan to the bottom of the profile and click the polyline at the bottom. Press Enter to close the tool. Copy the polyline by typing copy into the command line. Click the top of the polyline. Now follow the profile. Click anywhere that you see grade breaks or otherwise want to set the bankful elevation. After you are finished adding the guides, click the second icon from the left, insert PVI, in the Profile Layout Tools toolbar. Now start clicking the bottom of each of those lines you just laid out. This will help ensure that the bankful profile is approximately 3 tenths below the bench profile. With the alignment and profile created, we are now ready to run Stream Tools. If you have Stream Tools installed on your computer, click the Add-ins tab on the second menu bar. Click the icon that looks like stacked cross sections. Now you'd be prompted to select an alignment. In this case, your design center line alignment. A pop-up will come up. Select Define Pool Drop and click OK. Now you'll be prompted to select an alignment, in this case your design center line alignment. Next, you will be prompted to select the design profile, in this case, the bankful profile. A message regarding how some of the statistics have been calculated pops up. Click OK to close this window. Now the Stream Tools user interface will open. You will notice in the box on the opening page the design parameters for your alignment and slope. This is a good place to check to make sure you are meeting your design parameters. For this example, unclick the Add Glide checkbox. Click the Cross Section tab in the window. This is where we define the proposed cross sections of the channel. Click the Calculate Riffle button to bring up the riffle calculator. Here we can start to shape the riffle. Once you have a starting point, click Store Riffle. This will bring the point information over to the table. Now we can work on shaping the pool. Click the Pool tab. Click Calculate Pool in the window. Define your parameters, then click Calculate. Once you are finished, click Store Pool to move the point information over to the table. For this example, I'm going to manually adjust the pool to the design cross section. You can adjust either of the cross sections by typing numbers into the table. The left column is the offset from the center line, and the right is the elevation below bankful. Now we will adjust the design profile. Click the Profile tab. In here, we can make adjustments to the design profile. For this example, I'm going to shift the position of the pool and add a flat bottom. Graphically, you can see what the profile is doing above.
Once you are satisfied with your design, click the Finish tab. Now click Compute and the program will generate the channel break lines. We are going to create a layer to put the break lines on. Type LA into the command line to bring up the Layers Manager. Create a new layer to house the channel break lines. Select all of the break lines and move them to the layer you just created. Now we are going to create a boundary around the break lines. Select the outside two most break lines and isolate them. Copy and paste the two break lines over themselves. Isolate the copies. Adjust the break lines from 3D polylines to 1D polylines. You can do this from the Modify tab in the second menu bar. With both the lines selected, pull up their properties window. Adjust the elevation of the lines so that they are both zero. Now we are going to draw polylines to cap both ends of the design reach. Now select all of the visible lines and type J into the command line. Press enter. This will join all of the lines. In the properties window you should see that the poly line is closed. Now end the object isolation. Now create a surface from the Prospector tab of the tool space. Give the new surface a name and define the surface style. Click OK. Select all the channel break lines. Add them as break line definition to the newly created surface. Add the boundary you just created to the definition of the surface. If the boundary fails to add, like it does here, you can hatch the boundary line and generate a boundary from that hatch. Use the new boundary in the definition of your surface. Now we are going to create a surface that combines the bench grating with the channel grating. Create a new surface, give it a name, and define its display style. Expand the newly created surface. Under Definition, right-click Edits. First, paste the bench grating surface, then paste the channel grating surface. We are going to clean up the drawing a little by setting the bench surface style to no display. To check out what we have created, click on the surface, right-click, then click Object Viewer. This brings up a three-dimensional model of our combined surface. To look at the surface closer, we can add the definition of the surface to the check alignment we created in a previous video. Move the alignment along the design surface to see what it looks like. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for your support. Another great tool found in Stream Tools is the option to create profiles from 3D polylines. To access Stream Tools, click the Add-ins tab in the second menu bar. Click the icon that has two squiggly lines representing profiles. Click the alignment you want the profile associated with, then click the 3D poly line that you want to create the profile from. Name the profile, then click OK. Now we are going to change the display settings of the profile and add labels so that we can see what is going on. When we turn the station tracker on, you can see that our riffles are lining up with the tangent sections of the alignment, and our pools are lining up with the curves. Now we are going to save the design surface and profiles as data shortcuts. This will line us up for our next video, where we will start to discuss plan production. Thank you again for watching.